Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe the reactions of alkenes with water and with halogens. This is for triple chemistry students only. In the last video we saw that the alkenes of a homologous series. And remember that all of the molecules in a homologous series have the same functional group. So in the case of the alkenes, the functional group is the double bond. This means that all of the alkenes react in the same way. We looked at the combustion of alkenes and how the alkenes react with hydrogen. In this video, we're looking at how they react with water and with halogens. Again, it's really important that you learn these reactions, including the conditions. You can expect questions on these in your exams. So we're going to start with the reaction of alkenes with water. Scientists call this reaction hydration. I'm showing you the reaction of ethene with water here. As you can see, when we hydrate ethene, we make ethanol, which is an alcohol. The first key fact about hydration is that the water must be in the form of steam. The temperature must be around 300 degrees Celsius and the pressure around 70 atmospheres. And we use phosphoric acid as a catalyst to speed up the reaction. Now you'll notice that this reaction is reversible. So to increase the yield of ethanol, any unreacted ethene and steam are passed back through the catalyst. I should point out that this reaction might appear in an exam question on reversible reactions. Okay, we're going to look now at the reaction of alkenes with the halogens chlorine, bromine and iodine. Now, there are no special conditions for the reaction between alkenes and halogens. Alkenes react quite rapidly with halogens. I'm showing you here the reaction between ethene and chlorine gas, Cl2. In this reaction, we're making the product dichloroethane. As you can see, the two chlorine atoms in the chlorine molecule have added across the double bond. And once again, the double carbon to carbon bond has turned into a single carbon to carbon bond. This shows the alkene propene reacting with chlorine. And again, you can see the chlorine atoms adding across the double bond. Now the halogens bromine and iodine react in the same way. I'm showing you here ethene reacting with bromine to make dibromoethane and ethene reacting with iodine to make diiodoethane. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the reactions of alkenes in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 